when I retired, I was sort of like, oh my God, what do I do now? And service was one of the things I've always done. It's part of my fiber that I want to give. I have been familiar with Homeward Bound, an organization to help the homeless. Bob walked in on the first day and said, this is wonderful, but you need a garden. So I talked to one of the directors of the board. I said, why don't we put in a, a new class to teach some people how to landscape, how to grow vegetables and things like that. And he said, well, we, the only place we've got is this parking lot. And I thought, we can do that. And actually at the end of the first year, we had donated 400 pounds of food to the homeless and to the food bank in Marin County. Bob has been incredible in his commitment to this. Since 2000, he shows up every single week. He mentors, he tells them how to manage the land, but he gives them instruction and then lets them do the work. So he's really like a, a tutor. In fact, people often refer to him as the professor. I knew very little about gardening because I'm from Mississippi, so professors taught me all that I know about gardening. You think we should get 50% shade cloth or 30% shade well, cloth? I think 30% at this 30%. time of the year. Okay. When the professor comes, got to have a book and a pencil. This is very serious business. We found that individuals who are moving out of homelessness, uh, working with the earth, working uh, in the garden, uh, mirrors a lot of the transformations that they're making in their own life. He teaches people patience. He teaches them resilience. That's the most important thing because you can't rush anything in the garden and you can't rush change in your own life. Now I'm not curing homeless here, but I'm helping. There you go, thank you. It's a little piece. When you get two or three or four people that are actually happy in a job, that are in landscaping, that type of thing, and they learned it from you, uh, that's a reward. I learned a lot from him, not only through the garden, but uh, a lot of stuff spiritually. I remember the first time I came out here, I said, I plan. It's not I, it's we. I think if you give to a community as much as you can, it's sort of like a boomerang, and if you throw love out there enough, it'll come back. I love you, my brother. All right.